morning everybody so yesterday we got the crib put together showed you that in yesterday's vlog now i'm moving all of the stuff i had over here off the wall in the nursery we're gonna paint that wall the same blue as that wall We're gonna paint that wall the same blue as that wall. That wasn't part of our original plan, but our original plan was to have the crib right here, and where it is, and it looks nice there, right? But we bought a hide-a-bed for this room. Now we need an extra bed in the house for when we have guests over, and also for when I'm on the road, and uh, Britt might need a little bit of, a little bit of help with the baby, if uh, let's say I'm on the road in Minnesota or something, and we have some family members that have uh, offered to come and help, and if they do decide to stay the night, they need a place to sleep. We only have two bedrooms and only one one bed. We got offered a queen size bed from Brett's dad and stepmom, but that would have taken up this whole room. The queen size bed would have come up to about here. This whole room would have been bed and crib. And the kid would, wouldn't really have any room to himself, right? So we went and bought a hide -a bed which if you're not familiar with what that is, it's a bed that folds into a couch. So it'll be a couch along that wall there, which will, it's a very light colored couch. I was saying yesterday, we're gonna have to be very careful not to stain it, but it goes well with the colors in here. And it was the only color that was available, so we're making it work. It's gonna be fine, we'll figure it out. It's gonna be right over there, and then It'll fold out into a bed when we need it. And then when we wake up in the morning, you fold it back up and then you got a nice couch to sit in over there. But we want that wall to be blue. That's my uh, first project for today. But this is my nice Tony Justice sweater. Has my name on it and everything. I don't want to get this full of paint, so I have to change clothes first. I don't know if you've seen the back of it. Now where can I put you down? Ah, I don't want to put you down here. I'll show, I'll show you the back of it. And this here, pretty cool, right? I don't want to get paint on this shirt. Had to quickly run to the shop before we started painting. We need to plug in the freezer. We bought this freezer yesterday. You can see it in yesterday's vlog. It's a nice standalone or stand-up freezer, extra food storage. There's no room for it in our house right now, but we do need it. We have a very small house. We will have a bigger house one day, and then this will, and as well as pretty much all of this, will go into our bigger house. But for now, this is a nice spot for it. So I bought it yesterday, and I transported it here on its back. So with freezers and refrigerators, obviously when you do that, you can't plug them in until all the Freon and everything settles. So you gotta let it sit upright for about 24 hours. And they said 12 hours. It's been uh, close to 24. I'm gonna plug this in now and we'll come check on it later this afternoon or this evening to make sure that it's cooling. And if everything's working fine, we're good. But if anything's not working, we have to bring it back and get a different one. We got power. power. I'm not going to leave this here like this, uh, obviously. I'll put it not on the couch. I feel like that would be a fire hazard leaving a plug connection like that. But for now, I'm just checking this. It's got a green light down here. I wonder if that's always going to be like that. What, what is this? Okay. I guess that tells you that it's on. Okay. Well, that's interesting. I didn't know that it had that. So the light's on here now. 
that's working. You can hear the compressor running and the fan running. We have it set to the recommended temperature. I mean, maybe that's the intake? I don't know. Well, it probably comes out of here. Oh yeah, yeah, you can feel it coming out of here. Okay, well, there we go. I like it that it has that green light down there and you know what's on. Okay, cool. Just gonna uh, put this, I think I wanna sort of hang this up like here maybe. Well, maybe not against the wood either. Nice to maybe have it hung up like this. So it's away from everything. And so that I can reach the plug or I could just, you know, put it down on the cement down there on the concrete. All right, old blue, sorry to tease you like this. I was just quickly dropping in, but I'll be back later, okay? You be good, all right? Guys, a little welcoming committee has only gone for a short while. Who's that there, Diesel? Is that your frog? Where's your frog? Is your frog? Can you show everyone your frog? No, he's my frog. And there's this weirdo. He's got to lick all the snow off the mat after we come in. Every time. Usually, all the other times when I've been painting in here, I cover the whole floor in like a thin sheet of plastic. But I never really used the plastic. It never really dripped that much. So this time I'm gonna do it without it. And even if some of this paint does drip onto this floor, it's pretty old flooring, uh, but it does dry up and it chips off very easily. So I didn't wanna waste another big sheet of plastic just to do one wall. I'm gonna try doing it without it. But for here, where I'm, you know, working with the actual paint, mixing it, and pouring it into here, it's got an old sheet underneath here now. So the blue we've been using in here is called Van Cortland Blue. We got it from Benjamin Moore. So I had a tool to do the corners. This thing, right? But I don't have an extra pad for it today and all the stores are closed. Because when I'm filming this, it's a Sunday and this is Steinbeck. So I'm doing it all by hand. The corners are the hardest part. But I'm finding it's actually, I'm getting a, a more even corner doing it by hand. It takes longer, yeah, but I think it's gonna look a lot better in the end. Most things do if you take your time, right? This is the hardest part. Getting that nice, somewhat even line right along the corners. We thought about doing crown molding in here just to hide that, but 
Once it dries, it actually doesn't look half bad. I, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. That wall looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a look at that before my paint brush drips or something here. Top there. That was all done by hand as well. I mean, I'm no professional. I'm not claiming to be a professional painter or anything, but I mean, I think it turned out half decent. It's going fast now. The hardest part is the corners, like I said, and then this part just roll it all on. Do one coat now, let it dry completely. I'm gonna work on some videos, some YouTube stuff. Once it's all dry, I'll come back in here and do a second coat, and that should do it. This wall only has two coats, and that was just fine. Second coat. Already done the trim all the way around. It's already pretty much dried. It dries so fast. Gotta finish this wall. Let it dry and it's done. There you go, a little more of a wide angle shot. It's hard to show the whole wall with the other frame. the whole room. It's getting there. Now we wait for it to dry. And when it's finished, it'll look just like that. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go check on the freezer at the shop, make sure it is actually in fact working and freezing so that we don't have to go exchange it for a different one and uh, run a few errands. By the time we get back, it should be mostly dried. I don't think I've shown you the uh, car seat base I guess it's what you call the base of the car seat that we had installed there it is that car seat that's on the stroller clips into there it'll be a rear-facing infant car seat pretty crazy right <laughs> our vehicle has a car seat in it I keep saying it it's coming fast at the same time it's taking forever but it is coming fast I think it's like three or four weeks now tomorrow from when I'm filming this so when you're watching this already we'll already have known we may have announced it maybe we didn't but tomorrow for me we find out when the c-section date is gonna be we're gonna find out his birthday unless he decides to come early hey old blue we're back how you doing I'm gonna check on this freezer here and check on you too don't worry don't worry Okay, this is, uh, I can still hear the compressor running. Oh yeah, that's, that's cold. Yep, definitely cold. Okay, well, that's good then. Is there a thermometer in here somewhere telling me what the temperature is? No, there's not, eh? Okay, well, that's definitely really cold air. Good. The purchase was solid. Okay. That's all I needed. 
Just wanted to be sure. Now we can start filling it with food. There we go. Dry. Just gotta take this tape off the bottom here and it's just so satisfying I wanted to share it with you. All right. Oh, not perfect there, but... off some of the paint. Uh, I'm gonna patch that up now. No one there too. Oh boy, big piece is coming off here. Oh man. Okay, well it was satisfying until that happened. I'll quickly fix this up. It'll take two minutes. Alright, we'll fix this up real quick. Real quick, just an old brush. There you go, just like that. Nice thick little coat right on there. Give this one over here as well. There you go. Sorry, my camera abilities are not the greatest when I'm painting. I can only focus on one thing at a time. I am a man. There we go. It's like it never happened. And now that's where the hide bed's gonna go. All that stuff will go somewhere else. That's where the crib will be. Looks a lot better against that blue wall. Nice. I've got his little toy box right there. Once we have a different house again, he's going to get another bigger one just like that. All Sesame Street. Sesame Street is the theme. So I'm going to hang up all the pictures and stuff. My sister Cheryl is uh, making a nice plaque there with his name on it. Coming along. And with the wide angle shot, this is where we've gotten so far. It's coming together now. Lamp gives a nice soft, soft light in here. Should work. Just perfect. Okay, so that's it for today, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care.